Hi, my name is Jeremy Mamasau. I'm a fourth year CIAT student with a joint major with communications. A portfolio to me is a great place for you to put down all your work, to show employers what you currently have going on, and to also share more about yourself. It's also a great place to link all your social media and to post uh, different photos and updates from your latest endeavors. Making portfolios is fun. If you code it yourself, it's really fun. Or if you want to take the less fun but just as nice looking way, you can also use different websites that allow you to make portfolios in an easy way. Myself, I'm currently going to be using a WordPress very soon. So I'm looking forward to that. No longer have to stick with my uh, not so great web skills. But you know, if you are a coder, then I recommend doing it that way because it's uh, a way for employees to see what uh, your skills are on your own website. It's a good idea to start your portfolio when you have enough work that you think uh, is good enough to post. And if you get started early, it gives you more opportunity to uh, start looking for jobs early on and your peers can see that you're busy doing these kind of things and it's good for networking and uh, you know, if ever you're at a, any kind of conference or network event, etc., where you need to show your portfolio, you can at least do that very easily. So, sooner the better. What I think you should do before you make it is compile all your best work, figure out uh, what kind of stuff you want to post on it, such as your bio, your resume, your different uh, design videos, etc. And uh, figure out what your scope of your website is going to be and who you're trying to appeal to. Myself, I'm uh, currently looking for a freelance, so I have a lot of my freelance work on there and some of my class projects that I'm really proud of. Other things you could do is uh, talk to your peers and talk to people who already have their portfolios. Figure out what works, what doesn't. Figure out what kind of layout you want, whether it's going to be really complicated, really simple, lots of images, minimal amount of images, etc., etc. And figure out which platform works best for you. I think it's good to put a mix of some of your classwork and also some of your uh, work that you've done outside of school because it allows for a balance and allows employers to see uh, what you have going on outside of class. Should the work that you put in your portfolio be the complete or part? Uh, I think it depends. If you're making a demo reel, for example myself, I do video motion design, I think that it's important to put uh, small bits from your demo reel so that an employer can quickly see all your different talents. And uh, if you're in design, for example, uh, like many of my colleagues in SEAT, you might want to put all of your projects, or like the full thing. And for example, if it's a print design, you might want to put the PDFs and also put some of the printed versions, take pictures, and uh, show close-ups you know, from far away, maybe what it would look like on a newsstand, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Because um, at least that employer can see the different contexts for it. And uh, it's always really great, I think, to put some of your work towards what you did as your final project. So if it's a, uh, a video, for example, you might put storyboards and sketch ideas. If it's a design, you might want to put uh, some of your preliminary stages, how you got to your final stage. Because I think employers really like to see that you have that sort of iterative mindset already. Where can a CS student uh, start? Well, um, first of all, CIAD is really great because we have a lot of resources available to us. For example, we have our Tech Bite session that happen every week. Um, that's a great way to connect with some of your peers and to connect uh, with others that have similar interests. There's also the Tech Teams program, which is a great way for you to meet people that have similar interests also. And you also get workshops every week and socials to connect. And uh, lastly, there's portfolio events that happen uh, every so often. And uh, myself, for example, I had the chance to facilitate a portfolio workshop. And it was really great because I got to see a ton of portfolios. I got to see what worked, what didn't. And I got to also connect with some people I had met before. So that's a great place to start. And uh, like I said before, try to look for inspiration. So go on sites like uh, Behance, for example, or different portfolio showcasing websites, or just search it up on Google even. I think there's a lot of really great artists and designers, uh, media makers out there that you can start to uh, see what works and what doesn't. And uh, connect with your peers. A lot of great students in SEAT, a lot of great uh, people that know a lot of skills. If you don't know web design, find someone that does know it. And I think it's a great way for you to uh, develop those skills. 
So uh, my tip for students is uh, start early. Start getting on it and uh, buy your website domain and uh, start making work that you're proud of because the prouder you are of it, the more proud. You're watching Hayatsu TV.